Create an overview by clicking Utilities. Choose Overviews and Create Overview. You can create lists of everything that exists in the system. We will create an overview based on a field for persons, in this case, interests. To do this, select Persons from the drop down menu. In the field below, you may give a short description of the overview or report. Write, for example, Interest Search. Press Save. If you want this overview to be at the top of your overview list from the main menu, you can enter number 1 in the display order. If you subsequently want to use the output as a mailing list, select Email in Mass Mailings or SMS, if you want to send something out via SMS. Please note that SMS service requires that you have an agreement with an SMS provider. Here we have chosen Email, so we can use it later for mass email shots. Press Save. Now you should define which data you want to see and how you want it presented. With the data filter, you define the selection or filter criteria for the data you want to see. In this case, people who have an interest in music. Choosing sort output, you can choose how you want your data sorted, just like you do with an Excel sheet where you sort by a specific column. Finally, you select the data elements you want to view under show data. As seen, you can choose up to 14 fields you will see in your final displayed fields. In the data box, choose Person Interest. Select Music as the match value. To broaden your search with people who care about music or sports, you can in the next line select Person, Interest and Sport. If you're making a list of people interested in both music and sport, you enter two criteria in two separate boxes using the AND criteria. Press Save. You can also expand your search, for example, to only find them in a given postcode. Select this in a separate box. Note that if you click Prompt User as shown, you, or the user of the report, will be prompted, whether they want to select the default value for the field or something else. Now you sort the output of your search. For example, you can choose to sort by industry and then postcode. Press Save or just move on to display data and your settings are saved automatically. You may have up to 30 data fields for each organization and up to 20 for each person. Therefore, the final thing you should do before you can view your overview is to choose which data fields from the individual records you want to show. Select View Data. As an example, you may select Company Name and then Person. First Name and person last name. Then you can choose person mobile number and person email. And then of course person interest. Press save when you are ready. Now you can view your data. And you can choose to save the results in Excel, in Word, or send an email to all the persons on the list. You will see that the newly created table is also accessible from the main menu. Overviews can also be used to modify or delete data. If the persons interested in music should all have a specific salesperson as first responsible, this could be mass changed by selecting Modify Data under Advanced. Note that you can even use this to delete the selected records. You can also select Export all data to Excel, if you want all data to be taken out in an Excel sheet, and not just the up to 14 data fields you choose in Display Data. You will also see a little further down on this page under Advanced, that you can control if you only want a single user or only users with a given access level to be able to use the overview. If you selected Modified Data, you will see a blue text which reads Modify Data. When you run the overview, you can, as an example, choose to change first responsible for the selected organizations. To do this, select first responsible and change to the new option from the user list. Then enter your own username in the field and click modify.